Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> We've been recording for a minute now. No, no, no. We, we just got, we just started, bro. We, we got to get in. Like, we just started. We got to. We, we locked in. We, we locked lock in. in what, what's the most locked in you've ever been? Huh. Like when I used to play soccer, I was pretty locked in. Pretty locked in. Yeah. How locked in? Like, like I'd be playing, I'd be playing right, and there'd be guys on the sideline saying like, "Get this guy a contract." I swear <laughs> to God. Get, like, this, get this guy an asshole contract. Cut my fucking asshole apart. Rip me open if I lie. With the dragon dildo. I don't think I've ever been that locked in. I wonder. I wonder. When I used to play Warzone, I would be locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would be fucking locked in. I'd be in. fucking... Brother, brother. Fucking... We got a fucking Echo Charlie on fucking South... Southwest, but, Southwest. See, but anybody can be locked in. Yeah. You know, you don't you need just have to get into you, the zone. You don't just need to be talented to be locked in. You got to get locked in. Because you were fucking good at Warzone, right? You were, but I was locked in. You were good at soccer too, right? But I was what, I, what in. I'm saying is, because I just had a thought in my mind. It's like, oh, you got to be talented to get to be locked in. No, 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 no not true. You ever not just true. lock in on a TV show and Ben watch it? Yeah, but see, that's different. I'm not thinking of that as locked in. Because if that's the case, I'm locked in every day of my fucking life. On what show? Um, right now. Right now, it's Dexter. I'm rewatching it. It's Dexter. And um, a lot of murder going around in my life right now. The Menendez series. <laughs> um, Dexter, <laughs> right? That's about it, I think. I, uh, I just watched Red Dragon yesterday. That show was dope. The Hannibal series. It is a good movie. It is a good movie. It was dope because I've seen uh, the third one. I just need to see what's the first one. Silence of the Lambs. Red Dragon is supposed to be a prequel. What do you mean? To to. Right. So and then I'm, am I watching it in the right order? Was it supposed to be a prequel? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so Silence of the Lambs. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm forgetting here, but I know one of them. That came obviously came after Silence of the Lambs is a prequel to to that whole series, you know, because it I think, I think it, it was Red Dragon because it shows you when he's a when he's a butler or whatever the fuck he is. What is he a chef or some shit? Yeah, oh, a yeah. chef, Damn. A doctor, but he's cooking for people. A doctor. I think you're right because at the end of Red, spoiler alert, everyone, sorry, this movie's been out for fucking twenty years. Grow how, up. How damn bad? How damn bad do you think that man was? Who? He he was a doctor, but he resorted to chefery. It wasn't that. He he was cooking for his friends. They're a rich crowd. And I think his chefing was... Uh, he was cooking motherfuckers. Yeah, no, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think his... Him being a cook was like a side thing that he liked to do for his friends. Oh, but in fact, okay. he was just feeding them human meat. Because she's like, oh, what is this? There was like some French shit. What is this made of? He's like, oh, if I told you, I don't think he would eat it. And they all started laughing. <laughs> and then he had like a smirk. And it's like, yeah, bro, because you're eating fucking human ass cheek right now. Human fucking booty cheeks. And that shit juicy as fuck, <laughs> man. <laughs> that was his hobby then, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was locked in. See, the thing is, is... uh. At the end of the movie, because you know there's like that iconic girl. Hello, Clarice. Yeah, Clarice, yes. Uh, the guy was like, oh, there's a girl to see, here to see you from the FBI, but I don't think you want to see her. I'm going to tell her to go. And he wasn't talking. And he looks, he goes, what's her name? And then it just ends. So I think you're right. It is a prequel. Because Clarice was definitely in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she was definitely in the third one. Different yeah, Different yeah. lady, though. Different lady. Oh, Clarice. Basically, I, I still don't know why he would hunt the people. And I don't know why he chose people that he chose. That's always something cool to get into. Their patterns? Yeah. Like, what's his pattern? But he did like to eat them. And at the end of the third movie, he fed some kids some brain. And the kid was like, oh, can I have some of that? And he was like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he was like, it's good, isn't it? He's like, oh, yeah, can I have some more? And he's like, fucking, the biggest smile on his face because... He's making this kid eat human brain. Okay, but see, oh, we've gone over this topic before, right? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad our listeners were not here for that shit. 
You know what? When you guys eat human meat. We've gone over this topic before, bro. But those kids, <laughs> right? They obviously consumed human brain, okay. right? But without knowing what it is, it's obviously not going to be a life-altering experience. It's just going to be whatever. Your fucking Uncle Randy's cooking up some meat on the fucking grill. Hey, let me get a piece of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's just going to be a regular schmegular uh, moment in, in life, you know? But if you would have been like, that's human brain, little boy. Yeah, they start throwing it up. Oh, my God. Or they start, like, fucking locking in. I'm sure it's great, though. I don't know about human brain. I like that cabeza. Maybe some ass cheek. Okay, hold on. I got a question. Give me the anus. I eat the anus. Norbit? I eat the anus. I never seen that movie. Norbit, they would feed him the chicken but like the little asshole of the chicken. Because he was like, uh, they kind of like inherited him into the family because he was getting bullied and shit. And he was married, uh, he was dating Respucia, like this fucking my size ass woman. Maybe ten times bigger though. So they like, oh, you know what, you get the chicken ass. So he the, he loves chicken ass now. But yeah, anyways, what was I talking about? Before that. Before the chicken ass. The kids? Brain? Oh, yes. Um, I was watching this guy, and he was like, oh, yeah. He's like, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the best cabeza tacos. And he's like, yeah, you're just going to go to your local store, and you're going to get cabeza. And he's like, if you guys know what that is, it's fucking cheek. I didn't. I, th- I thought that wasn't cheek. What the fuck is that? Is it cheek? I don't know. I, I don't What's really... brain? How do you say brain? Cerebro. Oh, so. Cerebro. So the whole time I thought I'd been eating brain, and I've been eating fucking cow cheek? I don't know. I thought it was called sesos or something like that. Assessos? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure there is some other term. I, I learned a, I learned a new saying today. I know the brain is cere- cerebro. Give me that cerebro, baby. Don't <laughs> 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 you know <what> say. <laughs> I uh, I learned a new saying today at work. So they were talking, right? There was like uh, two people talking, and we're in the. There's like this little office that has air conditioning. Not an office. How do you? How would you call it? And like a, a meeting room with one of those big oval tables, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conference room. Conference room. Yeah. We're in the conference room, and there's air, there's AC in there. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm taking my break in there. There's two people in there, and they were talking. And this guy goes, uh, he said, "Te vale madre." And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And he goes, it means like, oh, that means she don't give a fuck. And he's like, oh, if you're gonna say it for yourself, you say, "Me vale madre." So I was like, ah, oh, okay. So then they were talking again, and then she was talking about something. And I caught it that she she didn't really care about it. And I was like, oh, te vale madre. And we all started laughing, right? And then the homie Ivan texts me. He goes, shut the fuck up. Me vale madre. And I go, what the fuck? And I was like, you can hear us? He's like, bro, I hear everything you guys are talking about right now. He's, he's like, you guys need to shut the fuck up. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I guess we were too loud in there. Paper thin walls, apparently. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Jesus man. Christ. Whatever executive at that company is, he, he ain't getting no cerebro. At that in, that in that office, because you, know? you know, because you know me, I'm very like you know very open, very vulgar. Uh huh. Imagine the fucking boss right there on the other side of the door hearing me talking about like, oh yeah, I fucking eat your ass, boy. Oh, dude, I know. You man. know, and she'd be like, what the fuck is Dylan on? Or 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 <laughs> he's like, oh, I need to get what Dylan's on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dylan, I got you some knee pads. Blah blah blah. Yeah, when I used to walk by at work, they they all go like this. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having this incident at work, so the job site. Okay. Um, New one? No, no, same one, same one. We're almost done, thank God. I'm sick and tired of that stupid job site. I'm ready for it to be done and over with. I'm ready to get out of there. Um, but, you know, it's crazy that it's happening just now. But through the whole entirety of the job, for as long as I've been there, there's been an epidemic of cocks. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Epidemic of cocks, cocks <laughs> everywhere you turn. <laughs> They're spray painted now. And uh, so they hadn't said anything about it, uh-huh. <laughs> and they still haven't, uh-huh. right? But they they did say something about something that was recently drawn. Uh-huh. It was a cross. A cross was drawn. Okay. Right on one of the elevators. And um, so they bring it up to us. Well, because hold on, are these real elevators or are they shitty ones? No, it's just a man lift, just okay. shitty ones. Okay. And so they bring it up to us because they think that 
we're the ones doing it, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, oh yeah, we 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 got our fucking eyes on you. We think it's you. We're fucking zero. Who's in they? On you guys. Who's they? They is like the safety people, Ugh. right? And so, so sorry, freedom of religion doesn't exist anymore. And and Ever so heard of the First Amendment. So the whole time, the whole time, the whole time, there's been cocks drawn on the walls everywhere. Everywhere walls, you turn, cocks. in the walls, on the walls, in the duct, on the duct, everywhere. But as soon as one cross is drawn on the job site, oh no. Get it out of here. <laughs> that's fucked up, huh? Dude, literally, man. That's what I was thinking to myself, too. It's like, you had no problems with all these wieners on the walls, you know? Uh-huh. But then as soon as one cross comes into your line of sight, oh, there's a fucking problem. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's pretty that's fu- fucked up. Yeah, it's kind of, I think it's kind of stupid. It's very stupid. To be honest. Um, I mean. They should have said something at the, like, the, the fourth cock scene or something, you know? And now you're, now you're 76 floors up. Probably nah. millions of cocks drawn over the past two years. Dude, there's not only just... They're all cocks, right? But they're all different renditions of cocks, you know? <laughs> Every floor is like a different page in... In, in cockery. And no, what's what's that dude's name in Superbad? The guy that draws all the cocks? I don't remember. For some reason, I'm thinking Ethan. But anyways, every floor is a different page in his composition book. You know how he had all those yeah. cocks drawn? Yeah, yeah we... we Every floor is a page in his lunchbox. Oh my god! There's a big old raging cockasaurus. How many how many cocks do you think you've drawn over the past? You've been there two years. I've been there like almost a year. A year? About. Okay, so in 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 your year, how many cocks do you think you've drawn? Now, um, how many cocks do I think I have drawn? Or made? I've I've heard that you've made some. Made? No, I haven't made any. <laughs> Just drawn. Was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and say that I've... I've drawn about a good 10. That's it? Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. I figured you'd be drawing a lot of cocks. No, no, no. I don't really draw cocks. I, I more like write stuff. Well, so what, what do you write? I love boys. Or <laughs> <laughs> You know, just like <laughs> I, I took a coworker's hammer and I wrote "I love boys" on it. <laughs> it's all in good fun, though. You know? Yeah, what I mean? totally, totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, hung on guys or something? You know what I'm saying? Hung on guys. Hung on guys. Um, you know, it's just it's it's I, anything to make my day go by. Any quicker, but I'm, I never wrote anything in the in the porta potties though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> never did it. Never will. Never did it. So how many pairs of tits do you think you've drawn? In the job site, none. I don't draw that. None. Hmm. Serious, dude. I don't draw that. That's gay. <laughs> That's gay. I thought you. I thought you drew some on the porta potty. No, I draw wieners only. I only draw dicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe then you sent me some tits from the from the porta potty. There, yeah, there's a ton of stuff drawn on there. You know what's going on recently with the bathroom, dog? You you've been saying that shit been been terrible. Yeah, man, it's bad. So these guys, they 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 revert back to their middle school days. They'll like clog the urinal, and then it'll puddle up. Dude, come on. So if you pee in there, it's gonna start overflowing out. So you can't. Every time, well, you can. It's just going to start overflowing out. Every time you walk in there, though, it's uh, it's just a, it's a puddle. You walk into a puddle. What do you mean by urinal? So there's a, you walk into the porta potty and then there's obviously the shitter. Yeah. Where you oh, can sit okay. down yeah, and yeah. to the side, there's a little urinal. Oh, and then it smells like shit in there. Dude, the last porta potty I went into, um, it smelled like some spicy, spicy Korean beef jerky. I shit you not. So you were living in you it. Know, you know, <laughs> you know, you get a bag of beef jerky and you yeah. freshly open it up. It has a distinct yeah, yeah, scent yeah. to it. Uh-huh. It smelled exactly like that. I swear to God. I swear to God. Any Korean guys on the job site? You know, I'm not saying that I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, it, the, it wasn't worst. the worst smell in my life. Just saying. <laughs> I'd smell worse. Like, you know, we've talked about this before, too, but, it's, you know, it's like smelling your ball sack after a long, sweaty day. That's different, though. I'm not smelling another man's ball sack. You're smelling something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just the fumes, you know what I mean? 
It's the fumes in there. It's like the fumes of the earth, right? But it's fucking porta potty shit. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty intense. It's fucking insane. And you know what always creeps me out too? Like, there are those rare times where I do have to end up going to take a dump. That's terrible. Real, real bad. I'm so sorry. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna just go. I'm just gonna go because I have to, right? I need to relieve myself. And um, there's like flies all like going up in there and so i'm worried that i'm gonna be shitting and a fly is gonna land on my asshole and you're gonna get a maggot in your asshole ah something bro i uh i sometimes worry that there's like a snake or something in the in the toilet and then like today at work i was like fuck dude, i gotta take a shit so i go in there I go to shit there's no shit or come in the wall it uh a snake in the toilet though yeah it that, happens that's your alligators and shit Alligators are going in your toilet for sure. Okay, so, <laughs> so, I just got like a weird feeling. I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hurry the fuck up. So I hurry up, and then the second I stand up, I see the water move in and come back out. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Something was in the fucking toilet. Swear to God. Hey, rats be swimming, bro. Hey, I don't fucking know. Rats be swimming. They, they adapt. They dog, evolve. Dog. The water. It like went in right when I right when I looked at it, it went like something like something had poked yeah, his head yeah. up and then gone down. Yeah, but I didn't see it, and I said, "Fuck that flush! <laughs> Fucking take all this shit with you." Uh, and after the flush, did you use it? I heard already shit. Oh, okay. so I was like, "Something's in the water." I, I was getting it. This doesn't happen every time, but sometimes I get like a weird feeling. So I was like, "Something's in the water." So I was like, "Hurry up! Wipe, 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 wipe!" And uh, um, pro move. Get some fucking paper towels before you go in. Wet them. Then you got a wipey. I don't need to buy no fucking dude wipes. You fucking kidding me? They're, they're different. They're definitely different. But I'm still... I'm getting clean, baby. I'm getting clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. I, I swear to God. I stood up and it was like... Sucked in. A lot of water sucked in and it came back out. And I was like... That's a Ninja Turtle, fuck? my guy. That's a Ninja <laughs> Turtle. Um, so I had I had the doctor's I had my doctor's appointment with my surgeon on Tuesday, and uh, I got there early. I got there like an hour early. I just took my kid to school. And I was like, ah, I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. Sat in the parking lot for a little bit. I walked in. When was at eight forty five? I got there at eight. They took me in like five minutes later. I was like, fuck yeah. Heck yeah, that's fuck the best, yeah. isn't the it? The best. The best. The best. That's happened twice now at that place in Fontana. And he just told me, he's like, yeah, um, I recommend surgery. I was like, dude, I just give me the surgery. <clears throat> give me the surgery, bro. I recommend surgery. Well, no shit you recommend surgery. Yeah, because there's people that, like, old people that just don't want it, you know? Some people just don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh. Oh, well, that's old people, though. Their case is different. I, like, I know my dad probably tap in so he can give me the real answer or not. Or I could just go ask him. But. I know that if I wasn't under their insurance of time of injury, I don't think my insurance would cover it. I think that's a, a thing. You know? Right. That that's that makes sense. So I told him, I was like, oh yeah, it happened in February. And he goes, oh, February? He was like, this looks a lot older than February. He was like, ah, oh, this looks a lot older than February. That's weird. And he kept saying, that's weird. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, February 2023. He was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. He was like, yeah, because it's bad. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, fuck, fucking tell how old this shit is just by looking at it. You fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's crazy. Motherfucker. These, yeah, these motherfuckers. Motherfucker, dog. I'm trying to get my fucking insurance, dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't air yourself out. Uh, uh, don't don't go dry snitching. <laughs> I'm dropping down. dimes. I'm dropping dimes on myself. <laughs> nah, but so um, we already knew. Meniscus gone, ACL's gone. Um, he said I broke my leg. He said, "Yeah, you broke it. It's broken right here." I was like, "Holy fuck!" Where was that at? Where's like, here? Right on my tibial. Oh, okay. So on the head, like where? He, yeah. Where has sh- said on the uh-huh. report? Yeah, he said, "Yeah, he said that that's broken." Um, and he said you tore both sides of your meniscus. So there's like two C's, wow. like kind of cup like that. He said, "Yeah, you tore both sides." And he's like, "I recommend surgery." And he said his calendar's not out yet for December, and I'd love to get in there by December, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, if, if not, here's a number, call it. They'll put you on a list to try to get you in as soon as possible. So I called that number because they said three to six months, and they're going to get back to me. I called right when I left. I'm get the fuck on this shit. Hell yeah. Get the fuck on with it, That's baby. the best thing to do, man. That's and the best yeah. thing to do. 
he was gonna do my patella tendon, you know, the one above the knee. Mm-hmm. But he was like, he's like, I'm sure you bend down a lot and you're young. They usually do that for older people. And he was like, I'm not gonna do that. He was like, I really recommend either a hamstring or your quad. And he's like, let's look at them. So he looks at it on the MRI, and he said, he's like, your hamstring tendon's like way bigger than your quad. He's like, I recommend using this because we could save a lot more, and you'll still have a lot more of your hamstring than you would you if you took some of your quad. Right. I was like, okay. And he's like, and with this, he's like, I could fold it over a few times. It'd probably be even stronger than your past one. Wow. And the reason I sent you that text about the cadaver thing, because the first thing he said was, he was like, I don't recommend cadaver. He's okay. Like, I recommend these two. And then we just moved past it. And then he was like filling out information because he was putting me on the hot list for surgery, which was fucking awesome. I love that. Um, he was doing it. And I asked him, I said, hey, why don't you uh, recommend cadavers? And he's like, oh, he's like, for your age, especially like right now, he's like, literally our age is like 23 to 30. He's like, we don't recommend doing that. He says they have a, a very high percentage to tear again. And I was like, holy fuck. I don't know if they ever told you that. Well, I mean, I, clearly the evidence shows I've been there. I know, but I don't I don't know if they ever told you that. No, they never told I felt me like that. you would have not got the cadaver. No, I mean, I wasn't even I wasn't even really given an option. You know what I mean? Really? I, the, I, I got well. I had done some research on it, but I kind of went in thinking, well, this guy is clearly a fucking professional. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. He's going to recommend the best thing for me, right? But I, I am also assuming, like, they have tons of surgeries they got to do, and it's probably the easiest one. So they just want to be in and out. They don't really give a fuck. I don't think you should have thought that. You know? What? What's well, your fucking knee f- fucked if they got time. No, you know no, no. Not, that, that's not what I'm... That's not what I was thinking going into it. That's what I'm thinking now. Uh-huh. Is that they have tons of surgeries they got to go through, right? And it, that's probably the easiest and most accessible one. And so that's that's one that they could just bang out real I wonder quick. What what it looks like? Because when he was looking at MRI, he's like, "Yeah, you see your ACL? It's gone. I don't even see it. I don't see." It. I was like, well, "I want to know what it looks like. Like, what does it look like if it's there?" Yeah, yeah. But I, I want to see it with my own eyes. I imagine not an MRI. I imagine it like a little umbilical cord. Yeah. I don't like know a why. A little tight cord. You know? Yeah, Tight totally. little, like, reddish cord. I imagine it white. Really? Yeah. Personally. That's true. Tendons that you, like, you're going to get on chickens, those are white. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an anatomist. But, yeah. So, when he told me, that's why I texted you that shit. Because I was like, fuck, dog. No, and I, 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 I'm sure you probably texted me that thinking, like, oh, well, he has them. I'm going to go ahead and let him know. I feel bad. Well, at this fucking point. It's too late. Too fucking late, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know. Like, thanks, buddy. You're a couple years late. <laughs> well, it's because I asked him. I was like, well, my buddy fucking tore his shit twice, and I think both times you have cadavers, right? I honestly don't know which one I have this time. So, I think I have the same one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was like, he's like, he's like, he's like, hey, that's on them. He's like, he's probably not with Kaiser, which you're not with Kaiser, right? No. And he was like, he was like, I have other doctors on the panel that have to read my notes before I even give you surgery. He was like, there's like six people that check my shit. I was like, oh, fuck. It was, it was cool. Like, and that, it that, made me feel good that there's other people fucking looking at this shit. Well, it's like a jury. Yeah. Kind of like, like, oh, well, no, you shouldn't go that route. Yes, like, they have to approve you know? it because they want to see what's actually best for me. So yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that was cool. That is fucking awesome, dude. That is awesome. And then he was like, uh, he's like, I recommend coming to these two people if I'm not available in the time that you want. He's like, they're my good colleagues. I go with them. So I called. I'm on the list. Bam. I'm on the hot list. And and you're getting the ball rolling. That's exactly what you have to do. <gasps> that's what's up. Yeah. But that's not what I was getting at. Shit on the toilet. I miss Tuesday. I'm fucking Scott Bree, baby. They know it wasn't my bitch ass. That wasn't there. You missed Tuesday and there's another incident. Another shit incident. But that guy retired already, so it's yeah. not him. Yes. So I was talking with my supervisor about it, and the office has like a collective of who they think it is, like a few people. The number one perp. Everyone talk there's there's a there's there's a big group. Okay. And uh I was I was telling her my fucking suspects like, yes, those are our top two as well, but we have a third, and I was like, Oh my god. I didn't even think about this motherfucker. So you're off the list then, huh? I'm off the list because I wasn't there. Great. Fabulous. And uh, they call... So what they started doing was all the male supervisors, they take like 20 minute intervals and one of them will go every 20 minutes to the bathroom to go check. And then, hey, during this 20 minutes, there was shit here. 
So there was 20 people that went to the restroom. In that time frame. In that, in that 20 minutes, which sucks. But damn, that's a big they narrowed list. it down to 20 people. Yeah, it's a big fucking list. It's a big fucking big list. Big fucking list. But wasn't me. But the guy that I <laughs> this is a this is a yeah. It's an all gender. Like anybody no, can go in. No, it's just male. Oh okay. Yeah. So it's a but it's 20 males that went to the restroom. 20 males, you know. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh no, that's a lot of fucking people to go through. And there's that. They think, like, they think, oh, yeah, he thinks he's invincible and he's going to keep shitting. It's like a serial killer, but a serial, a serial shitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, yeah, he thinks he's not going to get caught. We're going to catch him. I was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Catch his motherfucker. Catch his dirty motherfucker. You know what, dude? I'm kind of rooting for this guy at this Because this time, it wasn't shit splattered on the wall. She showed me the picture. They smeared it around the bowl on the, on the front side where you sit. Not on the inside. Not also, shit stains. They fucking... So this was done with intention. Oh, yeah. This was like, oh, I got shit on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and even brave enough to touch the toilet seat with their bare hands. So, like... Or maybe they did it with a... Maybe they so did it with a... With here's the, the bowl, right? Here's the front of the bowl. This is the seat on the top. They do like that across the front. Oh, not the top. No. Wow. Every time I go to the restroom, there's like little fucking skin mark on the top and that shit pisses me off pisses me the fuck off I scrub the fuck out of it and I put like four layers of fucking shit on there see I would go to a new one if I saw that no, I wouldn't trust even me. scrub it trust I would me. go to a new one they're all like that these old motherfuckers <laughs> they, I don't know what it is about them getting shit on the seat I don't know they need to retire brother <laughs> fuck they need to retire dude mm-hmm. so I wonder how the women's restroom looks I am officially out of the running Hell yeah. For shit on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had, I bet you I had like 0.002% of thought that it was me anyways yeah, to begin yeah. with. But just to know that it's at a fucking 0% for sure. Oh, it just makes my day. You had some ops that were probably written, Maybe. written against you. Maybe. I do have an op over there at work. Piece of shit. We all got ops everywhere. Some are silent. Some are vocal. Yeah. You know? But yeah, I didn't show. I didn't show him toilet. Wow, man, that's crazy, dude. Okay, so this guy, <laughs> wow, he's a serial shitter. He's a sure. He's a serial. What would we call it? What would we call it? Because he's not. He's trying not to get caught, but he's like leaving hints that it's him. You know? Yeah, dude. This guy's like the Zodiac shitter, bro. <laughs> the Zodiac shitter. Episode title. He never got caught. He never got uh, caught. No, they only had hints, and then coincidentally, the guy died, and it stopped happening, or did it? Damn, man. 20 is a lot. But... 20 dudes, narrow it down. And uh, there's another guy that I know for sure didn't do it. Because he was telling me the... Um, he was like, yeah, I got called over there. But he's like, I didn't fucking do it. I know he didn't do it. You know? I'm still picturing an old man. Maybe he did do it and he was trying to... Reverse oh psychology. Oh, my God. Because that's what these guys do. There's 20 people... That are fucking targets right now. You need Detective Morgan on this fucking case instantly. What they need to do is they need to have the supervisor on the floor at all times. And then when they see those 20 people go to the restroom, they go in right after them. Like, right after they leave, they'll they'll kind of hover around the bathroom. He leaves, they walk in to catch them. Well, that's what some people on job sites do when, when there's a real big problem with... Uh, Shitting on the wall. With, no, with graffiti and the porta potties. Oh, okay. They have a set team to go in and check that's what's, once, that's people, what's once people finish. Once people finish using the restroom, they'll go and check. Make sure there's nothing new on there. They take pictures and shit? They'll take pictures and shit, and you'll probably even get kicked off the job site. I bet. You know? I bet. But, see, going back to those things, that's a, that's a working man's diary. You know? As long as it's not bad, you know? As long as there's not a cross on the fucking porta potty God forbid. Yeah, oh, my God. God, God forbid. But dude, was it an upside down cross? Was there a penis on the cross? No, it was it, just a just was, a cross. It was a normal cross. Well, okay, it did have like those spiky edges. Oh, those it was dope. It was a normal cross. cross yeah, but it, it it had like some spiky edges, right? And uh, and so they told us they were like, "Oh well, we think it's you guys, right?" Be like, brother, we be drawing dicks out here. And they said, <laughs> they said, they said, one of the guys that operates the lift, he was like, "Oh, it's not them." It wasn't here Friday, and then it showed up after Saturday. They didn't show up Saturday. 
Where the fuck would it be you? That well, not me specifically, but my crew. The yeah, OBOs weren't there. Yeah, it wasn't us. It was definitely wasn't us. Fucking idiots. Yeah, so just like you, we are out of the running. They know so, it's not okay, us. hold on. Do you think that um, maybe the lift operator kind of complained that someone drew something on his lift? Like he's like, "This is my lift." No, 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 no. It wasn't him that complained. Uh, it was it was a safety guy. It was a safety guy who saw it. What a bitch. And then he 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 felt <clears throat> offended. He felt offended in some way. Bitch. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Speaking about crosses, okay? I got fucking... <clears throat> fucking crazy, bro. Okay, so li- this is a, a flashback, a little backstory. Goes all the way back to 7th, 8th grade, Dill. Okay? Back then... I had an epiphany. Yeah, I had an epiphany, for real. We used to have this swing in my front yard, this big, you know, those big bench swings. So, okay. like, three people can sit on it and just yeah, relax. Yeah. And I had people over at the house all the time. All the time. Seven days a week, you know? And there was a, one of my good friends at the time was dating this girl, right? She lived, like, literally at the next street over. And they even wrote their initials, like, with a heart and everything. Oh, they carved them in? Yeah, into the swing. Wow, that's eternal. Yeah. And, I mean, I doubt she's going to see this, but she was kind of a hoe. No, no offense. <laughs> but, um, so... <laughs> My sister sends me some shit, and she goes, bro, that was literally our neighbor. I open it, and it's uh, one of those famous comedians. I, I, I could show you, but I'll show you the guy. You know who it is when, okay, I, when I show okay. you. And she goes, he goes, oh, so you been with any guys recently? She goes, oh, no, I'm celibate. It's the fucking girl, dog. Celibate. That girl. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I do it because my religion. And then he was like, what the fuck? He's like, and he ever go up in there? Like, just roasting the fuck, like, you know, getting shit out of her. And she's like, yeah, I was celibate when I was 18. For my religion. I was like, holy fuck, dog. Wow. So after middle school, she, she found the light. Well, after high school. Oh, 18. after high school, yes. But at this yeah. point, you knew her from middle school, right? Yeah. Wow. So after after knowing her, she found the light. Literally. Damn. For religion, celibate. Damn. I'm celibate because of my religion. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, good for her. He was straight fucking going in on her, though. And he was like, oh, you got like a fucking cross vibrator or something? <laughs> <laughs> going on that thing, fucking. Brrr. I was like, "Oh my god, that's tough to do, bro." Very tough. They're very tough. Very tough. You know, I mean, that kind of obviously. Some it's... people are celibate not by choice. You know what I'm saying? Incels. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man, that's a different. Um... It was crazy to see. It had like 50k likes and everything. It went fucking viral. Damn, so that was that girl. Yo, 100,000, 10% was that girl. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. That takes a different type of fucking strong yeah. right there. Yeah. You know? Especially to sit in the front row at a fucking comedy show. Especially for like a famous guy like that. He's super famous, TikTok-wise. Uh, what, what, what do you mean, especially? To sit, at, to sit in the front row at a comedy show, that already takes balls. Because you know you're going to get picked on. No, but so I, that's already a fucking set of wavels right there. But and then you got to be fucking celibate for okay, hold on, hold six on. or seven years now. So you would you have a problem sitting front row at a comedy show? Oh, 100%. Really? You would? Oh, yeah. Really? I'd love it, though. I'd fucking love pick me. Fuck, I'm a pick me. I'm a pick me. You know? You know that. I love it. So, like, I'm scared, but I'd love it. Can I say some funny shit? I mean, I don't, I don't think... Personally, I don't think I would be... Um, I'd be number one to be picked on. Uh-huh. I think I can. I blend in pretty well. But I'm I feel like, like I feel like if he guy. was gonna pick on you, you'd be you wouldn't you'd just be straight face like yeah, construction, yeah, T- <laughs> tattoos. I mean like hardcore, bro. <laughs> hardcore shirt. Yeah, no no fucking emotion. You just be like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I don't know, man. There's obviously there are those people that do sit in front row of the comedy shows to get picked, yeah. right? Just like you were uh-huh, saying. Uh-huh. And they do give reactions that a comedian wants. Yeah, totally. Right? And uh, comedians, these guys are professionals. They know who to look out for. And they, they know which people are those kinds of people, for the most part, oh, at least. I guarantee. That, that's their job, brother. That's their livelihood. Yeah, they got to know. Exactly, exactly. And so, I don't know. With, with blending along pretty well, uh, I don't think I give off that vibe. Of like, oh, this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna be a chatterbox. He's gonna give me yeah, the content uh, I want, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think so, at least. Because you, you look pretty angry all the time, so. 
Really? You think so? You, you give angry vibes at times. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think our viewers would agree. Well, because they only see you here on, on the pod. <laughs> and, like, I brighten your day. I, they I, think I'm a sweetheart. Ugh. Dude, this fucking monster would be making me burp like motherfucking crazy. Like, insane amount of burps. Speaking of monsters, I'm about three weeks and some change free of energy drinks. <laughs> it's funny because, like, right after we stopped, uh, right after I told you I haven't drank energy drinks in a couple weeks because I've been drinking the coffee, I got right back on a monster again. It was like, it was imprinted in my brain. It we just like, transferred it. <laughs> we just transferred it. We, we, we swapped places. <laughs> but, uh, dude, honestly. Do um, you miss it? I, I miss the taste. See, we've talked about this also before. They need something that tastes like that. A caffeine-free? Caffeine. You know what? It's for the best, though, because all the chemicals and shit that those got in them. Um, Everything's got chemicals, little brother. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Everything's got chemicals, but anything that I can uh, take away with less chemicals in me. It'd be awesome. Yeah. There's a... So my forty page is broken. It's uh, my, on, my on what on what on what on Instagram. Okay. I only use Instagram. I say TikTok because I feel like that's just the norm, you know. But it's it's it's, it's been a sad week. But the vibes are different. The vibes are different. It's been a sad fucking like week, the man. if you say TikTok, see it's because it's Instagram totally reels. different. My Instagram reels. I just like seeing TikTok better. It's just easier. Okay. My forty page on Instagram is broken. My legendary run of months and months of great evolving into greatness is finally ended. It's like it's reset again. I've been getting videos with like zero likes, zero comments, and it's like, what the fuck am I watching? Okay? What the fuck's going on? I need my fucking hate comments sections, you know? I My, my Instagram was fucking masterfully put together. By comment sections. It's gone now. Giants all fall. It's gone. You know? But, on the topic of chemicals, this one lady's been popping up on my thing. She's like in front of court with all these foods. Saying, how come other countries don't have all these chemicals? The same fucking brand. Yeah, very true. Very true. And like, I'm glad someone's standing up, you know? Because it makes sense. It's like, why does McDonald's have 85 ingredients... In America for french fries. And then in the UK, it's potato, oil, and salt. Yeah. The three. But why do we have 85? It just doesn't make any sense. Make no sense. Makes make zero no sense. sense. And they're like, oh, how come here in all of Europe, not just the UK, all of Europe, all these things are banned in their food, but we eat it here and everything. It's On everything. the regular. Yeah. On the regular. And they're like, why? Why though? Why? Why is that? I brought it up before. That's why the you. That's why people in Britain love fucking Burger King. Slow poisoning, brother. It's what it is. It's ridiculous. And you know, I said earlier, you know, conspiracy theory episode, but I'm really about to get into the conspiracy, brother. North Carolina. I've heard it too. What? I've heard it too. What have you heard? I've heard or seen. Let's see. I want to hear it. I've seen that. Um, that brutal hurricane uh-huh. was manufactured. Um, I'm not that deep into conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not that deep. Okay. Let's hear yours. Maybe I am. Two months ago, the government supplied said company, I forgot the name, with a $250 million grant because the city where it hit the hardest... Uh, found out that they have the biggest lithium mine in the whole world. Ah, yes. The world. The biggest one in the world was found there. Okay. But the people didn't want to sell their houses. So coincidentally, the hurricane went right down that path, destroyed all the fucking houses, and they're not giving any food out there. Have you seen those videos? Yes. They're like, the only person that's came is this one guy. There's no help. There's no food coming in. All this shit. So I saw a TikTok, right? And TikTok... To be clear, a real TikTok. Um, this this trucker, right? A truck driver was mm-hmm. saying that typically when a natural disaster happens, that's a fucking gold mine for truckers. Uh-huh. Why? Because when something like that happens, there's always truckers being hired 
to, to bring shit in, take shit in and out, uh-huh. whether it be equipment, whether it be fucking debris, whatever. Yeah, who knows? Makes sense. But there's always they're always being fucking paid to take in and out and out loads, uh-huh. right? And uh, he was saying that they, there's a specific app they use, right? That mm-hmm. um, trucker app, trucker app, whatever it may, whatever it's called, I don't know. But there's not a truck going in or out within 250 miles of that radius of North Carolina of the, of that specific city what Asheville f- yeah ah, there you go that's the name you know so well, why why because I'm telling you bro the people didn't want to sell their houses in Asheville and there was a guy recently some fucking big big doctor he's like oh yeah uh, we've been testing lasers in the sky to manipulate clouds and they've done it here here and here and like no one believed them you know and I, I've said it before in Dubai they did it and they did it in California remember when it rained real fucking bad mm-hmm. and it like flooded and people were like what the fuck do you remember that yes I do remember that and I've even heard that um, okay this is a whole other conspiracy in its own but the the major heat wave that we got here in California that wasn't supposed to happen that's cause we're fucking with with fucking the earth yeah we're fucking with the earth in the wrong way yeah yeah and and so we know what happens with people that don't want to sell their land right they get got they get got unfortunately they what get, happened in Hawaii yeah. pew, pew. we you, know what happened in Hawaii that? you believe the blue roof oh, theory sh- do I believe it <laughs> do I believe it uh. but um, yeah so I think the mining company plus the government is said to make so many billions of dollars off this mine, but the people don't want to sell their houses so they can start construction, that they just wanted it gone. Okay, but what I'm wondering now is, there's obviously tons of people in that city or state that have been there for decades, mm-hmm. right? And their houses are all paid off, yep. and they literally, that's their land, mm-hmm. right? So what's going to stop them or yeah it's, it's what's not their land it's their house or okay but it's their house so what just because their house is destroyed they that's not theirs anymore it's not theirs anymore really really wow yeah so they're all they're all they're, they're all fucked they're they're all fucked so shit they, out of luck so like look at bloomington right now you know what's going on over there no what's going on over there Shipping hub after shipping hub after shipping Where hub. Where is that? Sh- Where is Bloomington? Uh, 60 and the 15. It's here, it's here in California? Yeah. Okay. 60 and the 15 intersection. Okay. Um, I was seeing it, and they're saying Bloomington is not going to be a city anymore. And even just recently, there was this elementary school for a lot of, like a huge elementary school. It just got bought out for like $300 million. Why? And shipping hub, another fucking hub, another warehouse. It's Bloomington will just be warehouses now. Nothing else. Because that's all it is now. And they they pay you the fucking dirt cheap for your house. But that's the fucking stupid people's fault for accepting it. You're like, no, I need more. I need more. Because they, they can't kick you out. They're going to have give me more money. It's going to cease to exist. Bloomington, a whole city. That's insane, mm-hmm. dude. Bloomington's like south of Fontana. But what's up with the mob mentality? What if this whole neighborhood doesn't want to give in and doesn't sell their houses? It's it's hard, bro, because then they're going to start, okay, you guys want to sell your house? Here's more money. They're just going to live around Here's more money. shipping warehouses? Here's more money. Yeah, that's what's happening, too. And eventually it's going to get to a price point that where it's like, damn, it doesn't make sense to deny it. Yeah, exactly. But they have the money to do that. Right. And, you know, it's just... It's a sad world out here. But as I, I think as long as they're being as long as they're being offered a better fucking deal than what they got their house for, mm-hmm. I think that's fine, right? But that's what most people are doing. That's why it's gonna cease to exist. But in the case that we're talking about with the theory where they just completely get fucking wiped, yeah, even yeah. fucked, no courtesy lick or nothing. Well the thing is, like those are just warehouses. This is a mine, uh, right. the biggest in the world. Yeah. So that makes that would make a lot more sense because there's billions to be made there. Billions. Trillions. You know what I'm and and they're not even giving them a, a fucking nickel and a dime, Mm-mm. you know? So and yeah, that's that's brutal, dude. We're back. We're back, everyone. 
Yeah, I know. And the thing is, there's another fucking hurricane coming. Another one. A third one. So there was Helen. There was Milton. What's this other one called? I A-B-C-D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K. think it's Kirk. It's Kirk. It's Kirk. I thought they went in alphabetical order. Oh, I think it's Kirk, bro. A B C D E F G. But who's naming these hurricanes? They can, they got to come with some better names. Helen, Milton, Kirk. Kirk. I think it's Kirk. What the who? Who's who the naming? Fuck is coming up with these names? Who's naming these fucking? It, it's like Enon is naming these fucking. <laughs> Starfighter. <laughs> <laughs> X-12 <laughs> to the third power. <laughs> I mean, and it just sucks that, you know, I mean, we don't have to deal with that shit out here, you know? Thank the Lord we yeah. don't have to deal with that. That's it. That's, I mean, we and have it our... it sucks that, like, they have a season called hurricane season. They all got to board up the windows and shit. Yeah. You know? I You know, I saw a bunch of people flex sealing their, their, their windows yes. and all that stuff. Hey, the flex seal worked, brother. Oh, yeah? Well, on that part, but the, hey, fl- the windows hey. got fucked up, though. Well, and I saw this guy do. He said, I'm not losing my house again. I was like, oh, fuck. He put, uh, he taped up plastic tarp from ceiling to bottom from the outside across the whole house, sandbagged it, and then fucking put that foam spray glue so it's all sealed. All the sandbags are sealed together. I want to see that house after. Ha, ah, dude. I mean, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but there's 130 mile per hour winds, dude. I don't think that's gonna stand a fucking chance. It's all fucking blocked up, brother. I want to see this house. I would like. I would love to see it too. I would love to see it too. But since we're on that topic of the hurricane, um, <laughs> there's this man, Lieutenant Dan. Did you hear about him? The real Lieutenant Dan? No, no, no. This is a man that was named Lieutenant Dan. So it's this. Dude. I, I saw a video on Twitter. I didn't click it. But go ahead. Yeah, there's this dude. Uh, he look. He he's an older. He's an older cat. Looks like a homeless dude. But he's hunkering down in, in a boat riding out the hurricane. Holy fuck. So um, in the midst of this storm, there was some sunshine shining on his world, right? And uh, he was hunkering down in his boat, and he was offered by a very popular streamer $100,000 and uh, uh, a contract to stream. For 50k a month. Aiden Ross? Yes, right? And <laughs> I who who would have guessed, huh? So, <laughs> so then so then um you know people start looking into this guy, right? And this guy turns out to be a total mega dirtbag piece of shit. Wow. Right? Criminal fucking And now Aiden Ross has made him rich. Chat child fucking chomo guy. And fucking snatched all that shit back. Nope, you're not getting none of it. You disgust me. <laughs> and I saw a video, dude. Dude was all mad. Dude was all pissed off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he was like, well, if you're not going to give it to me, why the fuck are you saying you're going to give it to me? And then you go back on your word, this, well, this, and that. Hey, brother, you were fucking children. You he was like, you should you should have looked into my history before you offered that shit to me. You know? Very true. Which is very true. Valid. Which is very true, but... Was there a contract signed or this word of mouth? No, it was, it was word of well, mouth. Well, word of mouth means fuck all. It was word Pen of mouth. Pen to paper, baby. Fucking but, um, chomo piece I of mean, shit. Yeah, he's totally right. He could have looked into his history, but he could have not been a piece of shit in his past life. Yeah. You know? Piece of shit. I don't give a fuck if he's a new yeah. man. Yeah, fucking stay in the boat, piece of shit. Yeah. Get drowned by Milton. Get wrecked, kid. I hope fucking Kirk bends you over like he did on the Falcons, baby. <clears throat> Kirk Cousins? Kirk Cousins? Yeah. He did that? Kirk Cousins? Bro, he just threw for 500 yards last week, baby. Oh, I thought he was like... Oh, my God. He bent that team over. He said... Oh, I thought he had a masseuse uh, situation uh, like our uh, like our other guy we were talking about. The masseuse guy? The massage guy? No idea. You know who I'm talking about. I don't know his name. I just know him as massage guy. What, what does he do? Uh, he settled on all those, all those girls. Oh, yeah. Deshaun Watson. That guy. No, Kirk Cousins is literally... Kirk O'Banks? Yeah, Kirko Chains, baby. Kirko Chains. That's what they call him. That's what they call him. He was swag surfing in Atlanta because he was he was on the Vikings. That's that's uh, that's Minnesota. That's wait, white. is that the white dude? Yeah. Remember I showed you him, Kirko Chains. Draco Kirk. Draco Kirk. Yes. I know Draco Kirk. Yes, bro. So Draco Kirk, actually Draco Kirk now because he's in Atlanta. He's not in Minnesota anymore. So this oh. is some real some real Draco shit. And he starts swag surfing. He starts fucking leading it because. 509 yards, bro. Wow. Dotted him up. Dotted him up. Dotted him up on Thursday. Why isn't he on your fantasy team? 
Well, because Kirk's a, a very mid quarterback, literally like a top twelve. I got Josh Allen, which uh, he's been underperforming this year, and I just got a a notification today that this is his worst five starts of his whole career. And I was like, yeah, of course I drafted him this year. Why? Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? The fucking year I drafted him, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play like shit, Dylan. But you drafted him two years before that. I did, but he did fucking amazing. So it's not just because you drafted him. I know. All quarterbacks this year are doing dog shit. All quarterbacks. It'd be like that. There's, like, Pat Mahomes, dog shit. But he's actually, like... So Josh Allen's not playing like dog shit. He's just not getting all the yards. He's still winning games, not getting all the yards, but Pat Mahomes playing like dog shit. What's going on? You want to... My pee bag is full. What are we at anyway? <laughs> We're full. We're at fucking 59. Let's just fucking end it. It's hot as shit in here. Um, anyways, uh, my fantasy team's falling apart. I got CMC on IR since the start. That was round one, pick one, pick. Done. Nico Collins on IR. Fucked. I'm fucked. I got Devontae Adams. He's holding out in the Raiders. He's not playing. And you have petty players against you. I'm fucked. You're fucked. Bro, in my other league, CeeDee Lamb, Garrett Wilson, and Marvin Harrison Jr., how the fuck am I not dotting these fools up? How am I not fucking beating ass? Are you kidding me? Again, like I said, not every day is a perfect day. I'm two and fucking three with that team. Luckily, Josh Allen. Luckily. CeeDee Lamb. Kevin, Ken, Kenneth Walker. Just be glad we don't have a fucking hurricane on our, on our ass. Garrett you know Wilson. Saying? Aaron Rodgers, bro. One of the fucking legends. Ain't dotting shit up. Anyways, this has been Daddy's Dungeon episode 132. Um, stop drawing cross on the walls. It's fucked up, apparently. You know? <laughs> Jesus. Peace. Right, let's go pee. <laughs>